nav icons are the little pictures that you see next to a listing when a website is displayed in a web browser. They're the little pictures like here for Twitter and this one for Facebook and you can see that they're displayed right here next to the website URL and also they're displayed up here in the tabs in Firefox. And having a fav icon for your website makes it look very professional and I'm going to show you how to create one in this video. To create your fav icon you need a graphics program and I'm using Adobe Photoshop for this demonstration because that's what I have on my computer. You don't have to use Photoshop, you can use a free graphics program like GIMP to create your fav icon. When you create your fav icon, you actually create it at a much larger size than it's going to finish up, but you shrink it down afterwards. You can create it any size you want, but it has to be perfectly square, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to create a new file, so create new, and I'm going to have my fav icon 100 pixels by 100 pixels and with a resolution of 72 pixels per square inch. And I'm going to have the background contents, the background color. Let's click on OK. I'm just going to drag that out a bit so you can see better. Now the thing about a fav icon, because they are really small, you need to have quite a bold design, something that is going to be readily apparent as soon as somebody looks at it. You don't want to have anything too fancy because when it gets shrunk down to the small icon file you're going to lose a lot of the detail. Now I'm going to make a fav icon for my blog site and so I'm just going to have the initials SB for Sam's blog. So I'm going to just do that in Photoshop now. I'm going to create the text. And you also want to have a fairly simple typeface if you're going to have text. So I'm going to use a Windows standard font. For this I'm going to use Arial. and just type my initials in and I'll duplicate that and there we go that's done. And now I need to save it and I'm going to use the save for web setting in Photoshop to save this as a GIF. GIF or GIF as some people pronounce it. So let's click that on save to save that to my computer's hard drive and let's call this favicon dot gif and there we are that's now saved now I'm going to use a free fav icon generator which you can find at this website here favicongenerator.com and that will shrink my fav icon file down to the correct size and put it into the correct format okay so I need to upload that from my computer's hard drive so click on browse and here's the one we want favicon.gif so click on open and then click here to generate the fav icon and there we are there's my fav icon generated so now I have to click here to download it and just click on OK and there we are it's downloading to my hard drive and 
there we are that's done and all I have to do now are two things first of all on my home page I need to copy and paste this piece of code into the head section of the website and then I need to upload the favicon.ico file into the root directory of my website and then it will display just like it does here on this site. So there you go, that's how you can create a favicon for your website.